Chapter 7 Jesus continues his thought by saying, When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am He, and I do nothing of myself, but as my Father hath taught me, inspired me, I speak these things. Again the italicized word was erroneously inserted. The meaning here is that when we come to a true understanding of man's relation to God, then we shall know that I am is the presence of God in each one, and that that presence gives dominion. Then Jesus said, Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. This statement covers many facets of man's life, but in this context it has a special meaning. The Bible says that there were those in the crowd who answered, We be Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? Jesus told them they were judging after the flesh, but if they would change their minds and understand that the Son, the I Am, has all power, then they would be free indeed and no longer have to rely upon intermediaries or upon some supposed good that came out of the past. Dare you to say, every day, in every way, I am getting richer and richer. If you dare and will follow up the word with the mental image of yourself having all the riches you desire, spirit substance will make your word manifest and show you the way to riches. All day long and every day, the God in you keeps repeating, I am, but he lets you end the sentence. You can add poor or rich, sad or happy, sick or well, as you choose. God can do for you only what you allow him to do through you. You praise and bless him only when you see the good and true and beautiful. You dishonor him when you call yourself weak, sick, or poor. When man develops the I am consciousness, he will attain the realization of what he is now. He will discern that his present nature is limitless in possibility, and that the conscious possession of more and more of the richness of his nature will come, not from more and more years of development, but from more and more present realization. I am the rich, radiant substance of the universe. I am. I am. I am my mind body and financial affairs are now filled with this rich universal substance. Every phase of my life is now blessed with this radiant substance. If God's name forever and forever is I am, how can you look outside of self? You cannot point to another and say, I am. You can observe this or do that, but you cannot point to another when you say, I am. Make your daily assertions. I am love, health, wisdom, cheerfulness, power for good, prosperity, success, usefulness, opulence. Never fail to assert these things at least twice a day. Twenty times is better. But if you do not attain to all immediately, if your life does not at once exemplify your words, let it not discourage you. The saying of the words is the watering of the seeds. After a time they will begin to sprout. After a longer time to cover the barren earth with grain after a still longer time to yield a harvest. The best and quickest way to bring about reform in our thinking is by the use of a strong affirmation, to be repeated in the silence and any time the need arises. The following, I am healthy, strong, young, powerful, loving, harmonious, successful, and happy. Just imagine, you can free yourself from negative emotions and begin taking control of your life by simply saying, I am responsible, whenever you start to feel angry or upset for any reason. The good news is that there is a direct relationship between the amount of responsibility you accept and the amount of control you feel. The more you say, I am responsible, the more of an internal focus of control you develop within yourself and the more powerful and confident you feel. I raise my mind from all appearances of limitation to the consciousness of the one omnipotent power and affirm that I am the recipient of all its goodness and love. End of chapter.